What's up guys? I'm Matt with Heiner Outdoor Living and we just flew into Moline, Illinois and we're at the Deer & Company World Headquarters. We are here for a gold key ceremony. Uh, we are buying our very first John Deere and I am really excited because they have invited us to come check out their facilities, do a factory tour and then get uh, what they call a gold key ceremony where we're gonna get a whole key and get to see our machine coming off the assembly line. This is a, a, a once in a lifetime opportunity. Not a whole lot of people get to do this. I feel so incredibly grateful. I, I still can't believe that this is happening and I'm excited to do this with you guys. So come on, this is gonna be a fun week, let's go. We are the Yardists. We take boring, mundane yards and transform them into livable works of art. Our mission, to inspire life outside. Day one, we are here in Dubuque. They have invited us here for a gold key ceremony. Uh, what this is, is an opportunity to bring in their customers and put them on a VIP tour of their factory and get a chance to see where my machine actually comes from. Morning. Oh, this is exciting. Uh, we started off bright and early as we toured the Dubuque Works factory. This is us showing up. We are greeted by some of their old school original tractors and a brief history of where John Deere was started, founded, and what this legacy brand was built on. Once we get through that, uh, we're invited back into a safety briefing where they tell us a little bit more in detail what we have to expect, kind of some of the, uh, the OSHA rules and regulations before we hop on this cool like John Deere train that they've got that takes us around this huge factory. It's hard to tell how huge this place is on camera. It is literally a mile and a half long. So as we get to ride around, uh, it was really loud in there, so we, it was really hard to be able to actually put some context on what these guys were saying, but they were talking about how they bring in all the steel, what they're able to actually weld in place, and how they make the frames from the painting stations to getting everything ready for the assembly line. Once we get a pretty quick overview of the factory, we got the chance to actually take a pit stop and then walk the assembly line where they make the skid steers. This is literally where the machine is that we are purchasing comes from and we get to meet the people that put it together and see step by step all the details that come into making this thing happen.
One thing that I learned when we were here is when they start something and they bring in a frame at the beginning of the day, that same machine will go all the way through the assembly line and literally drive itself out in one single day. This part is mine. So once we made it all the way through the factory and got to see all the skid steers made, they invited us back to lunch where we got to sit down with the John Deere engineering team. That was a chance where they got to ask me a bunch of questions. Their goal really was to learn from me and figure out me as the user, what can they put into their designs that's gonna make their skid steers better for us. I was a little intimidated by all the attention, but uh, at the end of the day, I really appreciate just how much that these guys actually cared and wanted to see how they could make their product better. So after lunch, we uh, we were on our way uh, to check out the John Deere Pavilion and the Commons in Moline. It was a short stop, some more history and, and facts of what their equipment can do. From there, we got a quick tour of their marketing department where I got to meet some of the fine folks that I've been working with all year. The next day we woke up and we headed to a private demo site where they test out all of their equipment. If you think of it this way, this was just a huge sandbox for grown adults. They had everything from the smallest skid steers to the largest excavators. So it was really neat learning from the guy a complete breakdown of the machine that we were about to get so I could really learn how my team and I can take care of this once this skid steer actually makes its way home. Once we went over all the fundamentals of how to operate and maintain the 325G, I got a chance to actually jump in and take it for a test spin. After I drove it around for a bit, they asked me if there was anything else, and so why not? I pointed at the biggest piece of equipment they had and had them bring that over, and I got to play with the really big excavator with one of the Nkong attachments. Oh, we're gonna get the big one now. <laughs> if you haven't seen one of these, 
They are absolutely nuts. 360 rotate, tilt, there's not anything you can't do with these attachments. It's just amazing. All in all, I can't be more uh, grateful for the opportunity to work with John Deere. I think one of my biggest takeaways was just seeing the manufacturing process in action. I just have a, such a much deeper appreciation for this machine that we get to bring home. Once again, I just want to leave you all with uh, my gratitude and, and express my thanks for allowing me to come on this trip and for the gold key ceremony. This is definitely one of the top experiences of my life and I can't wait to get this thing back home.